So a lot of times on radios that I bring home, when they first get to my bench, the needle looks like it's stuck on the S-meter. And a lot of people will tell you that this is because the pivot point on the thing has gotten stuck because the glue or whatever and age has shrunk the plastic or who knows why. But I found that in 100% of all the cases I've dealt with, it's just static electricity has been discharged into this plastic lens. So watch my thumb when I move my thumb along here. It makes the needle move. And then the needle just randomly picks a spot to zero itself out. Well, I use this product called the Zero Stat from Milti. These were sold in the 70s and they're still sold today. And they're used to uh, bombard like an LP record with, with uh, negative ions. And that makes the dust not stick to the records as well. So it kind of kills your hisses and pops when you're playing a record. But anyway, when you pull the trigger, it generates a bunch of negative ions. So I'll do that to the S meter here a time or two. Basically, you can already see that it fell. Give it a couple of zaps for good measure here. And if you're not careful, you can bring it right back to the start, but if you push it with the negative ions and then take the nozzle of the gun away when you recharge it, you can make the S meter start to behave itself. And uh, I've noticed that as long as you're not rubbing the S meter with your finger, you won't static charge the thing again and the S meter will stay working like it's supposed to. So. I turn it on here, I turn it off, it won't, it'll go back down to zero. I transmit, bounces up, falls back down. So give that a try if you have the means to get a hold of one of these static killers before you go into your radio and tear something apart and maybe try a fix that isn't actually fixing the real problem.